Baldur's Gate 3 has well over 600 spells and spell effects. In this video series, I will be ranking the top 10 spells for each and every spell level. So make sure you leave a like and you're subscribed so you don't miss an episode. In today's video, we will be taking a look at some of the best level 4 spells available. This is the fifth video in the series, so please do make sure you check out the rest of the spell ranking videos on the channel. Now with that out of the way, let's get nerdy. In at 10th place from the School of Enchantment is Confusion. Available to the Bard, Druid, Sorcerer, Wizard, Knowledge Domain Cleric and the Circles of the Spores Druid, it creates a 20 feet radius zone of chaotic energy within an effective range of 60 feet, muddling the minds of creatures for 3 turns. Creatures within this area must make a wisdom saving throw or become completely disconfoculated causing them to lash out attacking random creatures unable to distinguish friend from foe, run around aimlessly or skip their turn altogether. The spell's unpredictability can disrupt enemy tactics and sow chaos on the battlefield, but it also introduces an element of uncertainty as even the caster cannot predict the exact actions of the affected creatures. Ninth place overall in the ranking goes to Polymorph. Polymorph is a potent transmutation magic available to the Bard, Druid, Sorcerer, Wizard and Trickery Domain Cleric that transforms an enemy within a range of 60 feet into a meek little sheep. The target of the spell has the opportunity to negate the spell effect by making a wisdom saving throw, but on a failed save goes all woolly, unable to contribute to the enemy's offensive in any meaningful way for 5 turns. If or rather when, the polymorphed sheep is reduced to 0 hit points or the caster loses concentration, the spell effect ends, restoring the target's original form and its original hit points. Polymorph is a decent spell in BG3, but pales in comparison to its D&D counterpart. I was really looking forward to turning my party members into goblin chomping T-Rexes. But at last, that is a fantasy that will stay at the table for now. In 8th place from the Evocation School of Magic is Ice Storm. Available to the Druid, Sorcerer, Wizard and Tempest Domain Cleric, it harnesses the power of nature to unleash a devastating wintry onslaught. When cast, the spell conjures a violent meteorological phenomenon that combines freezing ice and whirling winds at a point within 60 feet. The spell lasts for a total of 2 turns and does not require concentration. During its duration, hail of large jagged ice chunks rain down upon a 20 foot radius centered on the chosen point dealing 2d8 bludgeoning and 4d6 cold damage with creatures caught in the frigid torrent needing to make a dexterity saving throw, taking the full brunt of the force on a failed save and half as much on a successful one. In at 7th place is Evard's Black Tentacles. Evard's Black Tentacles is a conjuration spell that summons a sinister and eldritch force to create an area of nightmarish constricted tentacles and available to the wizard and great old one's warlock. Upon casting, these dark tendrils erupt from the ground in a 20 foot radius within the caster's line of sight within 60 feet. These sentient tentacles act with malicious intent, grasping and ensnaring any creatures unfortunate enough to be caught within their reach, dealing 3d6 bludgeoning damage and creating an area of difficult terrain. The spell's ominous effect lasts for 10 turns, making it an effective tool for battlefield control as the tentacles obstruct movement, making it challenging for enemies to approach or retreat. Creatures entering the area or starting their turn need to make a strength saving throw or be subject to the tentacles grasp, slowing their advance. Next up in 6th place, from the enchantment school of magic, is Dominate Beast. Dominate Beast establishes a psychic link with a beast within their line of sight compelling it to switch sides attacking your nearby enemies and available to the Druid Sorcerer, the Archfey and Great Old One Warlock. 
The targeted beast within 60 feet must succeed on a wisdom saving throw to resist the spell's effect and upon failure will be forced to act out violently against its previous compatriots for a duration of 10 turns. However, this saving throw is repeated every single time the beast takes damage, so enjoy it while it lasts. Dominate Beast is a thematic option for druids, which demonstrates their attunement with nature to command animals of the natural world. However, careful planning is crucial to make the most out of the dominated creature's assistance. At number 5, only available to the Druid and Ranger, is Conjure Woodland Being. Conjure Woodland Being calls forth a Dryad from the Fey Realm, within a range of 60 feet from the caster. The caster has complete control over the Dryad for the whole adventuring day. The Dryad is capable of casting a number of very useful spells such as Entangle, Spike Growth and a souped up version of Shillelagh, as well as other very useful features like Fallen Lover, Nature Step and others. Conjure Woodland Being is a great choice, adding another body to the party with a varied selection of options that are both useful in and outside of combat encounters. In at number 4 is Wall of Fire. Wall of Fire is a powerful evocation spell available to the Druid, Sorcerer, Wizard, Light and Forge Domain Clerics, as well as the Fiend Warlock. This allows a caster to conjure a blazing barrier of intense flames. When cast, the spell creates a wall of fire between two points within 60 foot range. This flaming infernal wall inflicts fire damage to any creature that passes through or starts their turn within 10 feet of the fiery barrier. Those caught by the wall's lashing flame tongues must make a dexterity saving throw to mitigate the 5d8 of fire damage as the intensity of the fire increases when creatures approach the wall. The caster also has the flexibility to position the wall strategically, using it to create barriers, control the battlefield or deal with multiple enemies simultaneously. The wall can be used both offensively and defensively, obstructing enemy movements, funneling foes into choke points, or acting as a fiery determent. Wall of Fire adds an exciting element to encounters, as the fiery barrier can dramatically change the dynamics of a battle. For the third place, I am going to be cheating a little bit as at the moment this spell doesn't function quite as described, but I am ranking it on the intended implementation as I expect this will be patched before long, and that is Great Invisibility. Available to the Bard, Sorcerer, Wizard and Archfey Warlock, Greater Invisibility is a potent illusion spell that cloaks the target in a aura of superior concealment. When cast, the spell renders a creature or object entirely invisible, going beyond the standard invisibility by maintaining its effect even when the target takes an action. The spell grants the recipient a remarkable level of stealth and elusiveness, making it difficult for enemies to locate or target them. Unlike standard invisibility, Great Invisibility allows the invisible creature to attack, cast spells and perform other actions without breaking the spell's effect. This makes it an awesome choice for spellcasters and melee combatants alike, as it provides a significant advantage in both offense and defense. The spell lasts for 10 turns, granting ample time for the invisible creature to exploit their unseen state. However, the illusion is not absolute. Keen senses, magical detection or special abilities might still reveal the creature's presence. In at second place overall is Dimension Door. Dimension Door is from the Conjuration School of Magic and allows the caster to instantaneously transport themselves and a nearby willing creature to a different location that the caster can see. It's also available to the Bard, Sorcerer, Warlock, Wizard, Trickery, Domain Cleric and Oath of Vengeance Paladin. When cast, the spell creates a shimmering portal that connects the caster's current position to their desired location. Upon stepping through the portal, the caster and accompanying creature are instantaneously transported to the chosen location. 
This magical travel occurs without traversing the physical space between these two points, making it an effective means of bypassing obstacles, reaching inaccessible areas or escaping dangerous situations. Dimension Door offers great versatility in both exploration and combat scenarios. Adventurers can use it to quickly traverse long distances, outmaneuver enemies or create tactical advantages by positioning themselves advantageously on the battlefield. And my absolute favorite level 4 spell in Baldur's Gate 3 is Banishment. Banishment comes to us from the School of Abjuration and available to the Sorcerer, Warlock and Wizard. It allows a caster to forcibly send a creature to another plane of existence, with the caster targeting a creature within 60 feet they can see, forcing them to make a charisma saving throw. If the target fails the saving throw, it is banished to a harmless demiplane for a duration of two turns. During this banishment, the target is effectively removed from the game, making banishment an extremely useful tool for incapacitating dangerous foes, removing them from the battlefield or buying time for the caster's party to deal with other threats. However, the spell's effects aren't permanent and after the two turns are up or concentration of the caster is broken, the spell's effect ends prematurely. The charisma saving throw required makes banishment very reliable with very few characters having proficiency or high charisma modifiers to assist in successfully saving from being yeeted out of there. And there you have it, my top 10 level 4 spells in Baldur's Gate 3. What are your favorites? Let me know in the comments down below. Please like, subscribe, and I truly hope to see you again soon.